friends welcome back it's time for yet another diabetes friendly recipe flaxseed crackers i'm sharing a video on the right way to make flax meal at home and giving a link to it above do check it out this is a diabetes friendly recipe because it is low carb low calorie and sugar free for this recipe we need one onion few mint and basil leaves one green chili salt turmeric green, garam masala black pepper and half cup flax meal so let's get started with it to start with we need to chop onion along with the herbs but i chose to do it differently i added 1 cup water to the nutribullet and dropped in the onion along with the herbs you can do it whichever way you like then strain the water uh, using a strainer yes the idea is to drain the water but do not squeeze do not squeeze because we need this water keep aside that stock of water as well and the these herbs along with the onion to a bowl along with salt black pepper if you want it spicy turmeric garam masala and any other flavoring of your choice then gradually add flax meal to this jar if it looks sticky don't worry go ahead i added 2 tablespoon of rice flour to it as well if you don't have rice flour you can add besan or chickpea flour to it then we need to add 3 tablespoon of this stock stock water that we had kept add it to the bowl and mix everything keep it aside for 10 minutes after 10 minutes your dough is ready it should be sticky it has to be sticky so don't worry if it is sticky it is perfect for crackers mine was not too sticky so i had to press it very well but if yours is sticky well then go ahead with it if yours is sticky then pour your batter like dough on to directly on the baking tray or baking sheet I did it on the wall again on my skillet because I want this recipe to reach out to all the ingredients. Take a non-stick tawa or skillet. I greased it and then pressed the dough, the cracker dough, onto it. Press it thinly. Then place an iron skillet or tawa. Keep it on high for five minutes, and then after five minutes, turn the flame to low. Then after ten minutes, flip the side. It is baked from below. Be very careful while flipping the side. If you are doing it in oven as well, you can flip the side if you want. Cover it and bake for another five minutes. After five minutes. It is almost done. Check it with your spatula. If it feels hard, your cracker dough is ready. You can flip the side if you want or leave it as is. Look how I am doing. Turn off the flame and cover it with a kitchen towel. Let it cook in retained heat for 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, your cracker is ready for munching. It's hard, it's crunchy, it's salty, it's savory, it's yummy, and it's spicy as well. And on top of it, it is diabetes friendly. I hope you like this recipe. This is a low carb, low calorie, sugar-free recipe. 